Did you know that in 2023, the average dividend yield for the S&P 500 was just over 1.5 percent? Now imagine locking in yields that are almost double or even triple that rate by investing in top-notch companies at their lowest prices in a year. Today, we're looking at five dividend stocks near their 52-week lows. Cisco's business model revolves around selling routers, switches, cybersecurity solutions, and cloud-based services, among others. Its strong market position and continuous innovation have allowed it to maintain robust revenue and profit margins. In the fiscal year 2023, Cisco reported revenues of $52.82 billion, reflecting its solid performance and market reach. Cisco began paying dividends in 2011 and has since established a solid track record of consistent dividend payments and growth. As of early 2024, Cisco's dividend yield stands at around 3.1 percent. The company's ability to generate substantial cash flow has enabled it to return value to shareholders consistently. Let's look at the numbers. Over the past decade, Cisco has increased its quarterly dividend from $0.06 cents per share in 2011 to $0.39 cents per share in 2023. Now, this steady increase highlights the company's commitment to returning capital to shareholders and its financial stability. Recently, Cisco's stock price has dipped near its 52-week low of four. But why is this happening? Well, the tech sector has faced broader market pressures, including rising interest rates and economic uncertainty, which have weighed on tech stocks in general. However, these macroeconomic factors don't necessarily reflect Cisco's individual performance or long-term prospects. If you were to invest $10,000 in Cisco at its 52-week low of $44.15 per share, you'd be able to purchase approximately 226 shares with an annual dividend of $1.56 per share 39 cents quarterly, your investment would generate about $352.56 in annual dividend income. This translates to a 3.5% yield on your $10,000 investment. Cisco's financial health is another critical factor to consider. The company has a strong balance sheet with substantial cash reserves as of the latest quarter. Cisco had approximately $23.8 billion in cash and cash equivalents, providing it with the flexibility to invest in growth opportunities and sustain its dividend payments even during economic downturns. Hey, if you're finding this information valuable, please leave a comment letting us know your dividend investing strategy. We'd love to hear it. Now, CBS has a solid history of paying dividends. As of early 2024, its dividend yield stands at around 2.7 percent. The company has consistently returned value to its shareholders through regular dividend payments. However, it's important to note that CBS suspended its dividend growth in 2017 to focus on debt reduction following the Aetna acquisition. But it resumed dividend increases in 2021. CBS's quarterly dividend was $0.50 per share in 2017. After resuming increases, the quarterly dividend is now $0.60 per share, reflecting the company's improved financial position and commitment to returning capital to shareholders. Recently, CVS's stock price has dipped near its 52-week low of $66.55. The healthcare sector has faced challenges, including regulatory uncertainties and changes in reimbursement rates, which have impacted stock prices. However, these issues are often more about market sediment than the fundamental health of the company. Now let's analyze the potential benefits of investing in CVS at its current price. If you were to invest $10,000 in CVS at the 52-week low of $66.55 per share, you'd be able to purchase approximately 150 shares. With an annual dividend of $2.40 per share or $0.60 cents quarterly, your investment would generate about $360 in annual dividend income. This translates to a 3.6 percent yield on your $10,000 investment. If the stock price were to increase back to its previous high of $100, your investment would grow to $15,000, giving you a capital gain of $5,000 along with your dividend income. 
Looking ahead, CVS's strategic initiatives, such as expanding its health hub locations and integrating digital health services, position it well for future growth. Now, in recent years, Accenture has strategically acquired multiple companies to bolster its capabilities in digital cloud and cybersecurity, positioning itself as a top player in the tech consulting space. This growth strategy has paid off with Accenture reporting strong financial performance year after year. Accenture has a solid track record of paying dividends. As of June 2024, Accenture's dividend yield stands at approximately 1.5 percent. You might think that's modest compared to some other dividend stocks. But there's more to the story. Over the past five years, Accenture has increased its dividend by an average of 10 percent per year. This consistent growth is a testament to its strong earnings and cash flow. Accenture's current dividend payout is $0.44 cents per share, up from $0.39 cents per share in the previous year. This increase aligns with the company's commitment to returning value to shareholders. Accenture recently touched a 52-week low of 261.77. This is significant because just a few months ago, the stock was trading near its all-time high of around $374. So what would it mean if you invested $10,000 in Accenture at its recent 52-week low of $261.77? Well, with $10,000, you could purchase approximately 38.2 shares of Accenture. And this dividend payout of $0.44 cents per share quarterly, well, that's $1.76 annually per share. So for 38.2 shares, it totals to about $67.23 in annual dividends. If Accenture's stock price recovers to its recent high of $374, your investment could grow substantially. 38.2 shares at $374 would be worth about $14,286.80. That's a potential gain of over 40%, not accounting for additional dividend reinvestments. Nike has a strong history of dividend yield, increasing its dividend payout by an average of 11% annually over the past five years. The current quarterly dividend stands at 34.5 cents per share, up from 0.305 a year ago. Nike maintains a payout ratio of about 30%, indicating that it retains a significant portion of its earnings for reinvestment in the business, ensuring both stability and growth. Nike recently touched a 52-week low of $98.50. This is a notable drop from its 52-week high of 179.10. The decline can be attributed to broader market volatility, supply chain challenges and concerns over consumer spending. However, Nike's fundamentals remain strong, making this dip a potential buying opportunity. Now let's talk about J&J. &J. Johnson & Johnson's story is rich with history and innovation. Founded in 1886, J&J &J started with a mission to create ready-to-use sterile surgical dressings. Over the years, it's grown into a global healthcare leader, encompassing pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and consumer health products. J&J's dividend stands at just about 2.6 percent. J&J has increased its dividend for 61 consecutive years, demonstrating its commitment to returning value to shareholders. The current quarterly dividend is $1.19 per share, up from $1.06 the previous year. The payout ratio is around 55 percent, which is sustainable given J&J's consistent earnings and cash flow. Johnson & Johnson recently touched a 52-week low of $150.11. This is quite a drop from its 52-week high of $186.69. However, J&J's diversified business model and strong fundamentals make it resilient. With $10,000, you could purchase approximately 66.6 .6 shares of J&J &J at a quarterly dividend of $1.19 per share. That's $4.76 annually per share. For 66.6 .6 shares, that totals about $316.14 in annual dividends. So if J&J stock price recovers from its recent high of $186.69, your investment could grow significantly. 66.6 .6 shares of $186.69 would be worth about $12,438.25. This scenario highlights a potential gain of over 24%. This makes J&J &J a solid pick for both income and growth. 
And there you have it, Fun Financial Insiders. We've explored some fantastic dividend stocks near the 52-week lows, including Cisco, CVS Health, Accenture, Nike, and Johnson & Johnson. Dividend investing is a powerful way to build wealth gradually, providing both a steady income stream and the potential for capital appreciation. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, these strategies can help you grow your portfolio and achieve your financial goals. Now we want to hear from you. So which of these dividend stocks are you most excited about? Do you have any other favorite dividend stocks or investment strategies? Drop a comment down below and share your thoughts with our community. And don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more fun financial insights.